Hi friends, uh, this is Rakesh and today we will be going to learn how to simplify or uh, how to take a 3D geometry and make it into a 2D geometry and uh, apply the loads and solve uh, uh, the loads. Uh, so why we are uh, taking a 3D problem into a 2D problem or why we are reducing a 3D problem into a 2D problem. So reducing a problem to 2D has many advantages over the original problem and you should always uh, do it whenever it is possible. With advantages uh, or uh, it is uh, simpler to build a geometry, we can get a higher mesh quality and uh, with the very less computing time and less computing power we can uh, uh, calculate the results and uh, it is easier to display and analyze the results and more accurate solution can be obtained if uh, no assumptions are introduced into the model for that purpose if there is any chance in order for you to simplify a 3d geometry into a 2d geometry you can uh, modify it so today we will be going to we will be learning how to to take the 3d geometry and make into a 2d geometry and how to set the settings for that and we will be analyzing a simple problem of a triplate so for that uh, I will first of all I will be showing you what is the geometry we will be working with uh, and uh, so here is the triplate or here is the model with which we will be working uh, today this has been taken uh, from the book exercise book of uh, finite element simulations using ANSYS workbench now as you see this is the model uh, we will be dealing with right now we will be creating a 2d model of it so for that purpose we will be just uh, duplicating this uh, whole uh, template uh, into another one just by clicking on this uh, drop down arrow and then click on duplicate so that it duplicates uh, another duplicate and builds another uh, template of that and now we will be renaming it as a 2d geometry so that we can easily identify it so after that you just uh, double click to open the geometric modeler or uh, wherein you will be editing the geometry you will be creating uh, for that uh, here uh, this also comes as a 3d model in order uh, uh, to delete uh, or make it a 2d object you have to just uh, right click on the h2 from the pre outline and just from the context menu you just click delete and press uh, ok so here uh, you have deleted the uh, extrusion which makes it a 3d part uh, for now uh, you, you may not be seeing the sketch is visible right now but uh, if you click on xy plane the sketch uh, the base sketch will be visible to you on the screen it should be normal to you and now go to the option uh, concept and then select surfaces and sketches and just uh, by expanding the xy plane you can just select the sketch and here uh, uh, what it prompts is that uh, it has to workbench has to for creating the uh, surface from the sketch it has to have a base sketch and you are uh, selecting that sketch so after <laughs> after selecting this sketch uh, you can just click generate in order to generate the surface and here you, you see a surface has been generated with the base pitch that we have and uh, right now we will be not uh, applying any thickness we will be applying the same thickness in the mechanical uh, mechanical uh, module so for that uh, you have to introduce the static structural uh, template into the project schematic you can just do it by double clicking on the st static structure or otherwise you can just uh, drag and drop it into the project schematic uh, and you just uh, you can if you want if you can name it but for now i will be doing it uh, as it is and uh, it is dragging. so i will be just dragging this geometry and uh, leaving it on uh, geometry uh, so that uh, the geometry from here is being shared with this system so uh, as it looks right 
uh, the geometry has been has been adjusted or shaded successfully. But here comes uh, one of the important uh, thing because this being a 2D object, we have to set the properties of the geometry before going to the mechanical module because once if we go to the mechanical module and attach the geometry over on to that module, we will be not able to to edit the properties of the geometry with which we are dealing. So for uh, for getting the properties, you just click on the geometry and just right click on it, and from the context menu, you will be having uh, properties uh, and click on the properties. So here are the general properties of the geometry with which we are dealing. Uh, if you see this, there is the analysis type default is 3d if you go if you just uh, leave with this leave this off like this and go into the mechanical module you will be getting some errors because this is a 2d object you have to just go into the analysis type and uh, set it to 2d uh, that, that only will help you or otherwise you will get errors while you are analyzing it so for uh, now we will be closing the properties as we have set it to 2d and now just double click on the model so that the mechanical model will be opening and uh, here the mechanical uh, model uh, is uh, the model of the geometry is being attached over to the mechanical uh, uh, this thing mechanical uh, uh, template so here is the object or the 2d surface which we have created uh, 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 note that uh, we can uh, uh, generate uh, we can uh, simplify a 3d object into a 2d object when the object is being uh, subjected to in plane stresses only that's the one of the basic condition where uh, with the help of which you can uh, decide whether uh, we can analyze the object uh, using a 2d object or uh, it has to be analyzed in 3d so for right now we will be first we will be giving the uh, would say we will be giving the thickness to the body some thickness uh, so we will be assigning some 10 mm thickness to the body by just clicking on the surface body and going into the details of the surface body you can uh, locate the thickness here uh, and you can just double click on it and enter and uh, just enter the value and you can just press enter uh, uh, in order to activate that value so uh, we will also just right click on it and we have to just click on the geometry in order to verify that uh, it is the 2d behavior is in plane stress condition we have some uh, different options like axisymmetric plane strain generalized plane strain and bo by body we will be exploring that options in the uh, coming videos uh, so for now we will be leaving it as a plane stress condition and now uh, we have to generate a mesh so in order to generate mesh uh, just click on or highlight the mesh from that outline tree and you will be having the properties of the mesh uh, in that uh, from the sizing tab you can uh, or sizing group you can uh, uh, also control the sizing of the mesh for now i will be leaving it uh, fine by setting it fine uh, it will uh, the program will be deciding on how many number and all of the things uh, meshes nodes we have will be created for, in order to create the mesh just right click on the mesh from context menu select generate mesh so the mesh has been generated and uh, the preview also is highlighted with the 10 mm thickness so 10 mm thick uh, this one so now uh, we have to give the or attach the supports or loads or the things. for in order to insert the loads uh, boundary conditions you just select the static structural I'll, uh, and highlight the static structural uh, and uh, just uh, right click on uh, the context menu go to insert and you will, there are a lot of uh, uh, support types and uh, forces types you can attach or you can insert uh, in the ANSYS workbench but we will be dealing with only pressure right now so just uh, click on the pressure uh, pressure uh, and uh, I will be uh, pressing the control key in order to select uh, uh, the three faces at once and just click apply in the scope scoping and I will be that is in the jaw as that is in the pressure as the minus 50 mpa 
So I have now applied the pressure on the three faces. Uh, right now uh, all the shopping has been done. All the setting has been done and now we will be solving that uh, solution. So for, in order to solve that thing you can just click on solve, highlight solution and right click and uh, click solve or otherwise uh, you, you have a solve button over on the toolbar which, with which you can click to, to solve. While it is solving it will take some time. So, so okay. So here uh, there comes a warning. Uh, if you just double click on warning in order to highlight the total warning in the form of a small pop up window. So it says one or more bodies may be unconstrained and experiencing rigid body motion. Weak springs have been added to attain solution. Refer to double shoot, uh, shooting in the help system for more details. What this mean, means is that if we doesn't provide any uh, if we doesn't provide any supports and if we leave the object in a 3D space, any small uh, unconstrained force will uh, lead to an infinite motion on the infinite uh, motion of the body yeah. or of the unstable structure. So an unstable structure but still can achieve static equilibrium if all the external forces uh, sum up to zero which is called as unstable equilibrium. <coughs> So for uh, many of the finite element uh, solvers, uh, exp when experiencing this condition, stop to solve uh, these things. But you know, ANSYS, what the ANSYS workbench does uh, or performs is that it will add some uh, concept of weak springs, uh, which are uh, very sensitive to only small loads, small loads, uh, and it will constrain the motion uh, to a specified one. So there's a, you can just google it out what is the concept of these screens uh, and you will be knowing that for now we uh, will be leaving that uh, off uh, so and now as we have solved the solution now we have to find out uh, we are interested in finding out the total deformation and the equivalent stress in this plate so for that we will be in order to know that we will be just highlighting the solution and right clicking and from the context menu we will be inserting uh, deformation and total deformation tool and then just right click it and uh, from the context menu we will be inserting some stress tool equal and forming stress stresses so here if you see the thunderbolt mark appears here which uh, says uh, a update uh, is needed or a solution has to be performed and for that uh, you have to click on the solve and the solution will be performed and in order to highlight in order to see the results of the total deformation then just click on highlight the total deformation and we will be seeing the total deformation appears uh, here uh, and for equivalent stresses you can just let equivalent stresses and uh, in the geographical window you will be having this uh, if you observe one thing the equivalent stresses are symmetrical but uh, the total deformation is not symmetrical because uh, the reason be, uh, behind this is the at, uh, the deformation is calculated from a static uh, from a motion uh, should be symmetric but uh, the numerical values of the displacement are relative to a certain point which has been arbitrarily chosen to be attached with the weak spring attached to the weak spring so in avoid in order to avoid this type of awkwardness we can exploit the nature of symmetry uh, symmetries uh, uh, which we will be dealing with the uh, next uh, uh, video for now uh, thank you